for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for the ranking member for uh, bringing us together today. Ms. Vinson, I want to start out by saying I need you to be on notice that 10 million non-citizens have entered this country illegally and municipalities across the country are allowing them to vote in local elections. If states can't keep one voter roll registration clean, imagine keeping two uh, separated. So let me start by um, addressing Secretary Byrd, LaRose, and Warner. Clearly, the Democrat secretaries here have engaged in get-out-the-vote efforts uh, that the Biden administration is spearheading. Um, and certainly, I don't know if you've been contacted and asked to participate in any of these programs, but uh, in my opinion, voter registration is incredibly important. However, uh, I think the SBA should be focused on their sole mission, which is helping small businesses across this country be successful. I think the Department of Education should be focused on fixing their failed FAFSA rollout and not focused on registering voters. Uh, it's absurd that the administration has defied two subpoenas regarding that get out the vote effort. Um, you know, have it, either of you, uh, Mr. Byrd, Mr. LaRose, or Mr. Warner, been contacted about these get out the vote efforts? We have not, uh, and we have not had any evidence or reports of federal agencies in Florida doing that. And if they were to request, we wouldn't allow them. But we've gone even further, and our state of voter um, uh, public assistance agencies that serve as VRAs under the NVRA, we have now instructed them that they are not, if they are, if they are, if someone reports as being a non-citizen, that they report that to us so we can compare it against the voter rolls, and we specifically prohibit them from offering them voter registration forms if they report as a non-citizen. Quickly, Mr. LaRose and Mr. I helped Warner. lead an effort to sue the Biden administration to stop this foolish executive order, so I think they know better than to ask me. Mr. Warner. We have specifically written the White House asking them to rescind that order because it's unconstitutional, that executive order. Thank you. Uh, I want to start with you, uh, Secretary Fontes. Following the Supreme Court's infamous 2013 decision in the Arizona Tribal, Arizona had to move to a system where it requires proof of citizenship for those registering to vote in state elections, but no proof for those using the federal form to register to vote in a federal election. Can you tell the committee how the federal only voter, how many, I'm sorry, how many federal only voters there are in Arizona? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Can you, your microphone. Mr. Chair, Congresswoman, as, as we've heard, those roles change every day. We are uh, at approximately 44,000 um, at this time. The two-thirds of them are under 24 years of age, and as I indicated earlier, 13 to 17 percent of them uh, are Native, members of Native American tribes or have addresses on tribal lands. How many voters are there that can vote in all elections? Uh, we're over four million. What is the effect on Arizona's elections following the Supreme Court late August order uh, of the Republican National Committee versus Mi Familia Vota? Uh, are you providing individuals who are denied registration for failing to provide uh, documentary proof of citizenship with the state voter registration form, with the federal form, with the federal form, to encourage individuals to circumvent the DPOC requirement that was just upheld by the Supreme Court? We've issued guidance uh, under, uh, we've issued guidance to all of our voter registrars across the state uh, with legal uh, counsel at our side from the Attorney General's office to comply uh, with the U.S. Supreme Court ruling. Uh, I think it is very important for folks to understand uh, that the information gathered on each of those forms is exactly the same. And so while we will follow the law as indicated by the United States Supreme Court, uh, again, these efforts will result in the reduction of the capacity of some U.S. citizens from being able to vote. My, my time is limited. Uh, I would like to request unanimous consent to submit a letter from Kevin Klein and Gina Swoboda uh, to Secretary Fontes for the record. Without objection. Um, so it's the case that a voter that registers in Arizona on the Arizona form, their application will not be processed unless they provide proof of citizenship. Is that correct? It is the state of the law, and that is uh, what we have advised our, uh, our voter registrars. That is correct. But voters can still register with the federal form to vote in a federal election, provide no proof of citizenship, and be allowed to vote in November. That's exactly how you vote in your district, ma'am. Actually, I have uh, voter uh, authorization uh, and voter ID in my state. Um, but with that, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate the time, and I yield back. The gentlewoman yields back. Uh Representative Kerry from the state of Ohio is recognized for five minutes. I want to thank the chairman. 